there has been an update to the reconcile time card sheet. So as a reminder how to get there, under ADP and manage my employees, at the drop down next to employee find, select reconcile time card. When it brings you to that page, it will still go to yesterday. So you still want to go to current pay period or previous pay period if you are looking at it on Tuesday. And if you go to previous pay period on the day that you're going to be approving payroll, Anything that has a black check mark and unexcused absence is still not good. Green check marks is still good. Excused absence and vacate, vacate prepay. We have check marks that could be black. So let you know that they have used either a sick day or a PTO day. This way you know that they had a day that they were off. It wasn't working their standard 40 hours, but they are getting paid for their standard hours because of an excused absence. If we are doing a vacation prepay during that time frame, it will also show up in this column by showing you the number of hours that are being paid out for a vacation prepay. You still need green check marks in the first columns up until excused absence. So any unexcused absence, there should be no check marks whatsoever. Miss punch, early in, late in, early out, late out, unscheduled hours, all can have check marks but need to have them as green. Excused absence would be black to notify you that someone was out for a reason that is allowed. And vacation prepay, if it's being paid out, will show up here to notify that to you as well with the number of hours that are being prepaid. 